Hey, what's going on? Jeff Ratcliffe here. And I'd like to introduce you to a new feature to our site that we're really excited about. And if you play best ball fantasy football, then I think you're really going to like this. Uh, you might be familiar with our Draft Master tool. This is uh, a tool that allows you to do mock drafts based on PFF projections, PFF rankings. It's a great way to practice for your season-long leagues. But this year, 2019, we've added best ball functionality to Draft Master. So you can really explore roster construction, different strategies, different approaches to your best ball drafts. There's really nothing like it on the market right now. So I want to take you through that really quickly, show you how you can use this tool, how to get to it, all that fun stuff. So we're going to start here on, on the main fantasy page. You have to find the link for Draft Master. It's right there up at the top. So click on that and you're going to go into a, a landing page. Now, at Pro Football Focus, you can add in any league you want, any scoring systems you want, and you're going to see that on this first page here. So you can, for your season-long leagues, put in your scoring settings. If you're in uh, sort of standard scoring settings, we have ways that you can fast-track to those types of leagues. I know some of you might be in some uh, very customized leagues with a lot of unique scoring settings. You can do all that as well. But what you're going to do is just click on Add Your League, and as I mentioned, you can fast track to some different formats. So if you want to fast track to best ball, we have it set up here for uh, best ball tens, which used to be called MFL tens, and uh, draft setting as well. If you use one of those two best ball formats, or maybe you use both. So we're going to go in here. We'll go into a football tens, best ball tens setting, and then immediately you'll see this landing page where you can do a whole bunch of things here as well. If you wanted to see our rankings, you can go ahead and you know click in and see the rankings currently here. You can see that uh, rankings are updated there. Uh, but then as well, you can get into one of these interactive drafts. So very quickly, just click start a draft. And when you go into that, it will lead you right into uh, a setup where you can you can set up your draft order. I'm going to randomize the order, and it looks like it puts me down here at pick nine. But here's something unique about this tool as well, that for each one of these teams, you'll notice we have draft personalities. So instead of the computer simulating and just picking based on rankings or ADP, you can actually customize how your opponents are going to draft against you. Now, of course, you can stick with random but you could also go to a, a balanced approach based on ADP or based on PFF. That would be rankings. You can even customize them. Now, with customizing, you can change their strategies at the different positions. So, for example, for this first team here, Backfields and McCoys, we're going to change their quarterback strategy to a quality strategy. So, quality means that they're probably going to take two quarterbacks in this draft and they may be higher uh, in terms you know take them earlier in terms of rounds uh, with tight ends we'll do a quantity approach which means they're going to take very likely three tight ends they may wait at the position in doing so you can do the same thing with uh, kicker and defense uh, flex strategy we're, we're going to be adding more of these in as well as we go forward we have all sorts of different approaches, so we'll kind of go through and change the uh, approaches of each one of our opponents so that we're going up against uh, different strategies. That'll, that'll keep you on your toes, and it'll actually make it so that every one of your, your uh, mock drafts where you're exploring roster construction is going to be a little bit different based on how you, you pick these settings. That's what really differentiates the PFF tool here in DraftMaster from a lot of the other simulators out there because typically those simulations are basically going to be the same thing for the most part over and over and over again because they're really going to be based on kind of one factor. We can base it on multiple factors here, which then therefore allows you to use the tool a lot of different times and get different results. That's how you can really, as I said, explore that roster construction. So with all of these set up, we're gonna click next. We're gonna go in here and you can pick your ADP source as well. So in a football tens draft, we're gonna keep it on football tens. And then your ranking source, for, for right now, we have only uh, our best ball rankings, but after the NFL schedule comes out, 
Uh, we will also be adding in projections there as well. So you'll have multiple sources that you can uh, choose by. And you can even customize if you wanted to just use my rankings or just use Scott Barrett rankings, then you could go ahead and do that as well in there. So again, um, we'll have this all set up. We're just going to keep the settings as is. Click next. And this is going to bring you into the draft. Now, what's really cool about the draft is it, it already starts. So as we can see here, you, you can scroll through the picks. It goes Saquon, first overall, McCaffrey, Zeke, Gurley, Kamara, and so on. Pretty chalky here. But if you wanted to keep track, one of the hard things to do in, in live drafts is keeping track of all the positions that come off the board. Well, we have you covered here with this graph. And as we go through, you're going to see uh, how this, this plays out. So uh, with the choices on the board here, you know, we have um, some intriguing options. Uh, we'll just go with the recommend, recommended player, which is Michael Thomas. So we'll take Michael Thomas there. And then, as you can see, the draft goes again. Now, it's interesting. Travis Kelsey, he falls to me in the second round. And we know tight ends are important. So I'm going to go ahead and take Travis Kelsey and see what happens with my roster as I take him. So as we go forward here... Uh, the position distribution, as you can see, come back around and running backs have already thinned out a little bit. Uh, Derek Henry goes off the board. Aaron Jones. We're looking at Damian Williams. If I want to take a running back here, though, I, I, you know, there are some interesting wide receivers, but man, running back, I, I might need one of those. So I can actually ask for more recommendations just by clicking the running back button. And then I see Damian Williams, Sony Michelle, Philip Lindsay. Uh, and, and, and you can keep going and keep asking. You could also go over here and just click on the running back and you can see the next guys up. So, uh, pickings are slim. We'll take Dame, uh, Damian Williams, I guess I'm going to load up on, on some Kansas city chiefs here. This is not the best approach, but we'll see what happens. That's kind of the point though. We're practicing here and there's no money on the line. All right, so it goes through to the next pick. And actually, there are some decent options. So we're going to go Philip Lindsay here. So we'll take, you know, get two running backs out of that tier basically out of the way. We're rolling forward. Got some nice options at wide receiver. We'll go Cooper Cup there. And uh, on to the next one. Again, still some pretty solid options at wide out. Uh, Calvin Ridley, an interesting player with some upside for best ball purposes. We'll take him. Uh, going on to the next. Uh, quarterbacks are going to start to pop up, but uh, you'll notice uh, this is also a good place to take some rookies at this time of year. So we'll go Devin Singletary uh, in that spot. Still some more quarterbacks. I think it's a little tad early to draft quarterbacks in the eighth round. There's going to be value later, but the recommendations are only showing quarterbacks. If you want to get some wide receivers in there, you just click on that button, or you can also uh, go to over here and and look at the wide receivers being recommended we'll again shoot for upside we'll go with Cortland Sutton uh, in that spot moving forward to the next round quarterback still being recommended not sure I want to take a quarterback at this point so again going back over see who's off available at running back we'll take another rookie here in Damian Harris now I think it's time to take some quarterbacks. We got some upside options here in Lamar Jackson. Uh, Kirk Cousins, maybe not as much upside, but a little bit of a higher floor. Let's go with Lamar and see what happens with that one. Uh, coming around to the next round in the 11th round, you, got, you have some interesting wide receivers, but I'm going to load up on some quarterbacks. We'll take another upside guy in Jimmy Garoppolo here. Now, we have one tight end and... There may be the opportunity to take some more tight ends at this point in the draft. Tight end potentially thinning out. We can keep an eye on uh, where we stand there. You can see the distribution. There have been 16 tight ends, so the position is definitely thinning out. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a risk with Jordan Reed. Yay. Uh, moving on to the next round. I'm probably not going to like this team too much, but again, that's kind of why we're doing this. Uh, go ahead and take Antonio Callaway. We'll go uh, Deontay Foreman. Next round, we're going to go ahead, and it's recommending defenses at this point. I don't have a huge opposition to that, so based on the recommendations, just take the top team there. Still some more upside. Let's go with Kenny Stills at this point. Moving on to our 17th round pick. We have some, um, you know, a few 
and I don't know if Demarius Thomas will ultimately be on a roster. De- Devontae Parker, sure, why not? The pickings are slim late in best ball drafts. At this point, take another rookie here, and then we're going to round it out with another defense at the very end of the draft. We'll take the Panthers. So once the draft wraps up, here's what's cool. You can view the draft results, and you get a nice draft board here where you can analyze where all the picks came off the board. And the beauty to this is I've done a bunch of these drafts, and no two of these are alike. No two of these draft boards are alike because you can customize all of the unique features or the unique drafting personalities of your opponents, and you can really study your teams. You know, I'll tell you flat out, I don't really like the team that I just drafted. And that's fine because I don't have any money on the line. I'm not in a best ball league. Now I'm going to run it back and learn from what I don't like about this. I, I don't really like that I took Michael Thomas here, and I think that really set in motion a chain of reaction that led to this team that I'm not particularly high on. So that's the the advantage to this particular tool. And of course, if you wanted to navigate back to it, you click on Draft Master right up here again. But there are some other cool features that you can potentially utilize in your best ball prep in our draft master tool suite cheat sheets is the net the other area so you can set up cheat sheets for your uh best ball league so a set of rankings ultimately that um you know will give you kind of an at a glance and you're able to print this out uh you can print it immediately you can you can export it to a csv so they're um uh very useful right there as well uh, you have a positional format, and we also have our draft board format, which will uh, allow you to see everything on an entire draft board. So basically a set of tiered rankings where you should be valuing these players uh, based on our rankings and projections here at Pro Football Focus. So again, a super useful tool that will allow you to do a lot of things in terms of prepping for your best ball leagues and will allow you hopefully to have some more success in best ball fantasy football here in 2019 and beyond. Hope you enjoy that. We hope to hear from you on Twitter about it as well at PFF underscore fantasy. And of course you get access to this with an edge or elite subscription. And there are all sorts of other goodies there as well that come along with those subscriptions. So again, enjoy uh, our hard work here. We're really excited about this and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. This is Jeff Ratcliffe signing off.